Hello friends, my name is Steve Guttenberg and I am the Audiophiliac and you know I've been thinking about the future. I'm kind of hung up on the future today and that is what will our hearing be like in let's say 2068 to pick a number, 50 years from now, what will our hearing be like? Well I think we will definitely be able to have surgery then or maybe even robo ears so we could have perfectly flat freak, you know, uh, he hearing, right? Everyone ha would have perfect hearing if they wanted it. Um, you'd hear 20 to 20K or maybe 20 to 40K or 100K, whatever would make sense. I don't think you'd really want to go much below 20 hertz because I think hearing lots of low frequency rumble and noise would not be all that pleasant. So, but that's just me. Maybe that's an option you could check off when you're seeing your, your surgeon about what your low frequencies are, what your high frequencies are. Maybe you could tune it later after the fact at post-surgery too. Sure, why not, you know? But I think hearing in the future could be anything you want it to be, and I think that'll be a glorious thing, not just for, for audio files, but for music and for sound and just walking through life. I'm fascinated by sound outside of my hi-fi. When I walk down the street in, in noisy New York City, and I'm sure its noise will intrude on this video at some point, you know, hearing sirens off in the distance, hearing jackhammers, the subway train, just the, the whole buzz of a city is just endlessly fascinating to me. I've lived in New York City my whole life and the, the sound s uh, stage, <laughs> the sound escape of the whole city is just incredible. And if I could hear that in a deeper, more detailed way, it would be, it would blow my mind. But anyway, I'm not going to be around for that, but maybe you guys will. But anyway, you know, I, I do think though that hearing through the ears will be kind of considered old-fashioned by 2068. I think if you want to hear, you know, a Brahms symphony or, uh, you know, some current pop band of 2068, you would probably just hear it, like, directly uh, into your brain. You know, why go through the mechanical and uh, neuro aspects of hearing and just hear it totally inside your head where that sound could be manipulated and used, and used in any way possible that would be beyond the bounds of any audio system. I think that is very, very likely, and I doubt it's going to take 50 years to get there, that we could just hear these sounds completely within our head and they could be 1,000% realistic because they're not going to be dependent on moving the sound of moving air and in your room and creating sound. I think that once it's inside your skull, um, anything is possible. And 2068, I doubt it would take that long to have. Who knows, maybe even by 2038. Who knows whatsoever, you know? But it's, the future's so bright, you'll have to wear earmuffs or something, right? Um, I don't know. I think uh, how people will make records and mix records for that kind of sound experience is just unimaginable by me, other, other than the ways I just imagined. So I'd like to hear your ideas of what the future of sound will be, uh, let's say, in 50 years, beyond, let's just say, the old fashion of reproducing. And, you know, the other thing I think would be hilarious is that by 2068, how many vintage audiophiles will say, oh, yes, I can hear the sound entirely in my head. I can hear a perfect sound. I can hear it to 100K. But I want to hear the way people <laughs> heard, you know, in the, 20th, in, the, in the 20th century, right? I want to hear with so-called normal hearing with a notch, you know, at 5K, and I don't hear anything past here. And I want to get a set of, uh, you know, Conrad Johnson tube amplifiers and maybe some clipped horns and just have like a totally retro vintage system. You know that this is going to happen. Definitely people, when, they're, when they have the option of hearing absolute perfection, they will want to hear imperfection. Imperfection will be back in a big, big way. I guarantee it. Stock up on those tube amplifiers that are still working. Put them in a vault. Take, you know, put them in safekeeping because your grandchildren or whoever are going to just totally clean up if they have a, a mint, you know, uh, Marantz Model 8 or something. Anyway, I think I'm done for today. Um, if you like these videos, please share them, like them, do all that social media stuff that the kids of uh, 2018 are into. And I'll see you again really, really soon.